What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. As you can see we're at a different location so I wanted to apologise for the last couple of days that we've not had a daily Manchester City transfer update but you've got my word. Every single day from now through to the end of the window daily Manchester City transfer update for you guys to enjoy so if you are new around here then do subscribe to my channel it is free to subscribe press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description if you want to go and check out my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Email also in the description too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries, don't forget as well to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Do leave a thumbs up as well. 300 likes is the aim. So we've got quite a bit to get through. So we're just going to dive right in. We're going to start off with the outs and we've got the very latest on Slobodan Tedic. Now, he's been out on loan at Charlton Athletic, but he has now returned back to Manchester City. And very much like we were speaking in my last update about Kean Brecken and his return back to Manchester City from Wickham Wanderers in League One. Coincidentally, we have another Man City young player returning to us. Just so happens to be another club from London and another club in League One as well. So I do expect both Kean Brecken and Slobodan Tedic to be heading back out on loan uh, for their own development, which is why they've been recalled by Manchester City during the transfer window so they can head out on on loan once more. Uh, we do also have the very latest on another Manchester City youngster, Luis Fiorini, and he has since now signed for Charlton Athletic on loan for the season. I was reporting in my last video about him uh, being wanted by Charlton Athletic. The deal developed rather quickly and was sorted by uh, the end of Friday. So I wanted to wish Luis the very best of luck in London uh, for the remainder of the season. Now, moving on to the final transfer of the outs, takes us on to the very latest with Calvin Phillips. Now Fabrizio Romano has said that Juventus there officially out of the race to sign Calvin Phillips. They don't like the conditions of the loan. They don't like that there's an obligation to buy. Uh, the wage that's been asked for, uh, so Man City want a percentage of Calvin Phillips' wage to be paid. Juventus aren't happy with that and the percentage that Manchester City uh, are willing to accept. They're also not happy with a high loan fee as well. They're basically not happy with any of the terms of the loan deal uh, that Manchester City are wanting for their own player to be sent out on loan. What Juventus are wanting is for them to pay no or a very small loan fee, uh, for them to pay very little, if any, of Calvin Phillips's wage and put an option to buy rather than an obligation to buy so they can have an extra option for their squad so they don't have to utilise him because they don't want to sign him on a permanent basis. They don't have £40 million to be splashing on Calvin Phillips, so they just want to be able to get him for a few months utilise him and then send him back to Manchester City where his value decreases. From a selling point of view, it just makes no sense at all and Juventus are being cheap. Now Fabrizio Romano has confirmed that Newcastle are still in the race for Calvin Phillips. It was being reported uh, over the weekend that Calvin Phillips uh, to Newcastle United was a no-go. The same situation as Juventus. Newcastle weren't happy with the conditions of the loan. Uh, Newcastle, though, apparently, according to Fabrizio Romano, very much still in the race. So my question now is just how desperate are Newcastle when it comes to signing a central midfielder because Calvin Phillips is very much a viable option for them if they want to go and pursue that. We'll see if that does happen. Anyway, moving on to the ins. Finlay Gorman, the youngster at Leeds United. He is no more there because he has officially signed for Manchester City. He has signed for the CFA, the City Football Academy, uh, officially joining Manchester City from Leeds United. So I wanted to give Finlay a very warm welcome to the Manchester City family uh, and wishing him the very best of luck at Manchester City and hope he has a fantastic career whilst he is at the club uh, and also for the rest of his career as well. Fabrizio Romano has confirmed that that transfer has been signed, sealed and delivered. However, moving on to a transfer that's more than likely not going to be signed, sealed and delivered for Manchester City takes us on to the very latest on Valentin Barco. And I know a couple of Brighton fans have been commenting over the weekend on uh, my previous transfer update, giving the latest on Valentin Barco. So the ever reliable Cesar Louis Merlo has said that Brighton have submitted a 10 million euro bid for him. Uh, that's his current release clause. He hasn't currently signed a new deal 
with Boca Juniors. He isn't expected to sign a new deal there either. Uh, Brighton may even be able to bring that price down with a bit of negotiations. Now, the ball's very much in Valentin Barco's court and more in Brighton's court than it is in Boca Juniors because Valentin Barco's contract is up at the end of 2024. Uh, so there isn't much room for negotiations when it comes to this transfer. The word coming in from Brighton is they are very confident that they will be able to sign the young left-back from Argentina for their squad. Now, he has been getting heavily linked with a move to Manchester City and right up until around two or three weeks ago when Manchester City, uh, from out of nowhere, started getting linked with Echeverri over at River Plate, everything's gone quiet on Valentin Barco and it was being reported that City were only in for Echeverri and weren't in for Valentin Barco and I just couldn't make sense. Man City's interest in Barco was legit. It seems Manchester City have pulled out of the race and they're not prepared to go uh, and negotiate with Boca Juniors to make this transfer happen. Maybe they don't want to get involved in a little bidding war with Brighton. Maybe they're penny pinching. Maybe they don't see him as a long-term prospect at Manchester City. Maybe Man City have doubts about him. I'm not too sure. I just can't really make sense on why Manchester City uh, have pulled out of the race to sign a left-back because they're going to be signing an attacking midfielder. Just doesn't really make any sense. What I can see happening is Brighton signing Valentin Barco on the cheap and Manchester City in the next 12 to 24 months getting linked with Valentin Barco who will be at Brighton and Hove Albion and the price you'll be looking at will be far more than 10 million euros that's been spoken about right now and if I ever do get round to that uh, situation which wouldn't surprise me at all uh, I will be referring back to this video and I'll be saying to you guys we have the opportunity here to sign him for cheap uh, and if we want to sign him uh, in a couple of years' time, we're going to have to pay north of £50 million, £60, £70 million. It's what Brighton do. Uh, he's a top prospect. I just think he's, he's, for the price that we're looking at, I think this would have been worth the risk for Manchester City to take. Uh, we've still not had it officially explained to us why we're not in for Valentin Barco anymore. And I sense that this is another situation like we had with Enzo Fernandez, where we had the option to bring him and sign him before anybody else. We said no. He goes to Benfica inside six months, not even 12 months, six months there. He goes from being worth 10, 20 million euros to north of 100 million euros. And I just get a sense that this Valentin Barco situation is going to be the exact same. Now, moving on to the final transfer of this video takes us on to an update on Joshua Kimmich. And I know that people have been getting very excited about Kimmich. I remember saying on the City Extra stream when everyone was really very much on that hype train for Joshua Kimmich. Uh, I played it down and I played it down because uh, it's not the first time I've heard this. I've heard from sources close to Bayern Munich that Joshua Kimmich isn't leaving Bayern Munich this winter. And it's since been confirmed by Fabrizio Romano as well that Joshua Kimmich isn't leaving Bayern Munich this winter. It doesn't mean that Man City aren't going to make a move at some point in the future. They could choose to do so. In fact, it would be more uh, negotiable. It would be easier and it would be cheaper for Man City to sort this in the summer than it would be to sort it now. Problem you have, if Man City sort out that Calvin Phillips situation, he does need replacing. And if Kimmich is a player that City want, they may have to be patient and we need players now. So we'll see what happens. So there we go. That has been today's transfer update. Please do leave a thumbs up. 300 likes is the aim. Also, don't forget as well to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Do subscribe if you're new around here. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. We're doing daily Manchester City transfer updates here on YouTube to keep you guys up to date throughout the whole month of January with all the latest Manchester City transfer news. So if you haven't already, do subscribe. It is free. Social media links, they're in the description if you want to go and check out my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship training videos or any general business inquiries. And I'll see you all again religiously tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City transfer updates. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. Peace. Ciao for now.